Hello planners, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be finishing off the rest of my Black Friday slash Cyber Monday haul. If you're interested, please keep watching and I'll be making sure that I put all of the shops down below if you're interested in checking them out. The first shop I have here is Hair Right Designs and I just got a couple things. The main thing I really wanted to get was this kit, but I saw that she had some extra foils that I was interested in, so I got three of these that are just full box overlays. I got these kind of sprinkled dots that you can kind of accent into your planner. And then I got the headers that came along with this kit. It's all gold foiled and this is a fall kit, but I was seeing so many people use this kit that I really just wanted to go ahead and get it. I think she was also having a sale, so look how pretty all the gold is. There is gold foil on each of the boxes and I just love each and every one of them. There's some functional boxes. I didn't know that there was an extra box, but that's so super pretty too. There's some headers, some decorative elements, some icons, checklists, and the bottom washi, date covers, and some more headers. And that's all the things I got from Harrier Wright Designs. Next shop I'm going to be going over is Honey mm -hmm. Inked. Here's the little freebie that came along with the order. And I feel like I talk about her all the time, but Rachel from Gathered Plans has a freebie sheet that she has with Honey Inked. And she's a huge reason why I wanted to get some items from Honey Inked and try it into incorporating it into my spreads. A lot of them are decorative elements. I think it came in this envelope that was super pretty, which is why I saved it. But here's some of the things I got. This is a silver cluster, snow clusters. Here are some tiny Christmas accents, and since Christmas passed, I probably won't be able to use them this year, but um, that's fine. I think she was having a good sale, so I just wanted to order them while I had the chance. This is some silver foil, floral deco stickers. These I can probably use into the spread normally. I don't like florals that much in my planner, but I figured... I've been seeing um, Rachel and Shantae plans use it so much in their spreads that it looks so, super nice, so I wanted to try to see what I could do with it. Here's some remote controls. This is just a no foil. This is some skincare stickers in silver. Some more skincare just because I do this weekly. Some flourishes. These are some mini half starbursts and this is a no foil this is tiny stem flowers this is in silver foil mini half lace mandalas silver foil long stem flowers silver foil tiny ornaments silver foil some tiny snowflakes in silver foil i think it would have been great if these were in differing sizes so i can kind of distribute them throughout the spread at the top too some half mandalas in silver foil, no foil blender stickers, some mini half starbursts in silver foil, and the last one, the mini half lace mandalas in no foil. So I did get a lot, but I'm excited to try them into the spreads. I think when I use these kind of things, it makes me overthink my spreads a lot, but I still really want to see and challenge myself to see if I can kind of incorporate them to see how much I can do with them. Next up we have the Glitter Mama. This is the holiday freebie that came with the order. This is just a full box overlay that's in rose gold. This is some confetti headers, header overlays that I got. These are some foil boxes. I was running out of these. I think I got them from Sadie's stickers before, but I didn't see them in her shop anymore. So I was trying to find shops that would have these kind of silver foiled, simple kind of functional boxes. And then this is just a no foil. Her shop had a lot of full box overlays that I wanted to buy as well. I believe it came in this envelope. These are some holiday overlays. Silver foil. More holiday overlays. These are some Valentine's ones. And some more Valentine ones. 
and it was my first time shopping from her shop so I wanted to I always like to try to get a few sheets just to see how their foil is because I don't always like the um, foil in certain shops but I think I'm going to really enjoy her so I might be repurchasing that's all the stuff I got from Glitter Mama next we have one of my favorite foil sticker shops and it's Sadie stickers this is a little freebie I got with the order that's holographic foil and I think she was having a $2 Tuesday for all her Valentine's collection so there's some heart danglies more heart danglies I think these would be cute and can be used in a lot of spreads throughout the year so I got a lot of these these are just heart stickers these are easy to add into a spread as well these are some headers with a clear background and these are just some white ones and I got one kit from her that's a winter themed kit this is silver foiled and it's super cozy looking two of the boxes do not have foil on it but I think that's fine I can they look like they're they'd be perfect for a quote overlay on them and if it continues to snow in Chicago, I might still be able to use this. I might just have to leave out the Christmas tree box. Here's some functional boxes. A lot of spark, a lot of foils throughout some of the functional pieces. Comes with the full headers. I actually didn't notice. If I did, I probably wouldn't have gotten the header add-on. Some decorative elements. And I love this bottom washi. Comment down below if you guys already knew this, but I didn't realize that lots of shops are actually leaving out the weekend banners, which I was curious why, but luckily I have some in my stash, but I was just curious. It seems like a lot of the shops aren't carrying them anymore. That's all the stuff I got from City Stickers. Next up we have a Chic Blossom Prince. Here's a little freebie. A little silver foil lace. Another one. Some more. I think these were all freebies. And I got these glitter, confetti glitter overlay for the headers in a kind of pink rose gold and then a gold and I got a bunch of date covers because I've been running out of those as well in different colors this is just kind of a neutral neutral um, vanilla sky it's called color scheme got two of those this is kind of a little miss sunshine some yellow shades 50 shades some darker colors oceans 11 pretty in pink and these are all silver foiled. Green Mile, Purple Rain, and Moulin Rouge. And I did get one kit from her. I thought this would be super pretty in the month of March. It's just black and white with green accents and silver foiled. I love silver foil if you didn't know already, but it comes with these headers that are super pretty. I really like that she kind of accents the to-do headers and the today headers with some foil on the side as well. Might feel a little more inclined to use them for another spread too. Here's some icons and the checklist. And the bottom washi. And some more washies. And the date covers. So those are all the things I got from Chic Blossom Prints. The last shop I ordered from was the Pretty Pink Co. Came with this little journaling card. And I ordered two different kits. First, this is the freebie that came with the order. It's gold foiled. And there's a silver foiled. This must have been a freebie as well. I don't usually get samplers because I don't never know how to store them 
did get this hanging ornaments. I just like that they're in different sizes and they're different items. If you want to mix and match them, that'd be perfect. Some squiggles, mini fireworks, mini fireworks 2.0, some heart dividers, holly wreath circles. This is no foil, another no foil. These are just bling stars. Whenever I get clusters like this, sometimes I like to cut them up too. If I think it's too much, all of these together, because it's such a thick foil too, sometimes I just like to cut it up and spread them out. Some squiggle dividers, wreath mini squares, some bow icons for social media, this one's for YouTube, wreath mini circles, wreath circles 2.0, they're slightly different if you look carefully. This is some nail polish with some super tiny bowls and some movie night stickers with some super tiny bowls again. And I'm super excited about these two kits. This one I'll have to wait for next year. Like I said, there's some Christmas elements in it, so I'll have to wait for next year to use it. But there's some silver foil. It's pink and blue, white, red, green. Super pretty. Some functional boxes. I really like that the icons have some foil throughout it. There's some glitter headers here, some checklists that are in some decorative elements. Don't really like that because you can't really buy I don't usually use to do for my memory spreads, so if I were to use it for somewhere else, I kinda I'm kinda limited to using them um, during the holidays. And there's only six here, so I don't understand. Bottom wash, she's super pretty. I love pastel pink and blue together. And the date covers. And this I'm planning to use for February. My fiance and I celebrate our half anniversary. So we started dating in August. So Valentine's month is usually, or February, is usually when we celebrate our half anniversaries. And this year is going to be 12 and a half years, which sounds insane, but time really flies by. This is super pretty. Some functionals. I really like her icons. I can imagine myself using all of them. And lots of icons, I usually can't envision it because they look so dull, I guess you could say, but these, like, I would, I would consider buying, like, full sheets of these. Again with the boxes, it's a little weird just because it's like every other is different. It's just too diverse for me to think of using it in another spread, I don't know. But I appreciate all the decorative elements there are for layering. I think Rachel has really paved the way, Plan Mosh plans, they've really paved the way for layering effects. And I think they've really influenced sticker shops to start including them in the kits like this, which does help with, I think, making everyone a little more creative and thinking more about how they can place stickers. So these are all the things I got from the Pretty Pink Co. There's all the different shops. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Remember to check out the description box if you want to check out any of these shops. I love the foil that I'm seeing in all of these shops, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be a regular customer in most of these shops, if not all. But for some of them, they're, I'm so happy that I got to support some of the shops I've already been supporting. And I'm excited for these new kits that I received also, even though I might have to wait a little bit to use some of them. I hope you guys join me for my next plan with me. I'm hoping to start doing them in February. So look forward to that. And um, you can catch my YouTube posts. I mean, sorry, my Instagram posts on plan with Eva if you're interested. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.